Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a Sunday and I'm trying to turn today into a reset Sunday. So far I've gone through and I've taken um, the curly U part off this one here. I still have it in a bun and everything because it is very clean. So I'm going to put it in my designated U part bag. Okay? Okay. okay. And then I'm going to go through and put on a different U part. But I'm also wondering if I want to deconstruct this one and put it on. Um, I don't want to wear this one. I'm going to wear the shorter one. But I think I also need two longer checks to put in that other one. So we're going to see. But we're going to close this down. So I've gone through and I've basically lathered my hair and my parts with hair oil. I'm going to show you the one. I use the Kuza Indian Hemp. I'm going to show you guys. Because a lot of times when I'm watching videos and um, some of my favorites are saying, oh, I use this specific item in my hair. You know, when you go to Amazon and type it in. I currently have Mia barricaded in the living room. This is the one I use, Kuza. And I love it for my hair. I also have this mixture. This I bought on Amazon. I think I have it linked to my Amazon storefront underneath hair and stuff. This is five essential oils. Um, castor oil, grapeseed oil, argan oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. And my mom brought some organic Jamaican black castor oil for me from Jamaica. And I added some to this and I've been using this in my hair since as well. I really don't want it to be done because my mom's still here. And when she leaves, she's not going to come back for a little minute. But, you know, I'm still using it in my hair. But, um, these, uh, these parameter braids, they're two tiny parameter braids. And I want to just go through and refresh this one and this one right here. And then, um, we're going to figure out which U part unit we want to put on. But as we're on the topic, I mean, I already look crazy, so let's just set it off. I have this tripod really sturdy really strong mm, i'm now seeing that this one might not be able to work and then i have this tripod with this little ring light on there right but this bit of it is the tripod itself is not the sturdiest you know i want to be able to like screw it off and screw the ring light onto but now that i'm i don't really know if i'm going to be able to do that just a, a sturdier tripod because because I know that it's not the sturdiest, I've, I've thought about um, getting a different ring light when I really don't need a different ring light. I just need, okay, so the light itself could come off. Let's see if we could finesse something here. The amount of gadgets I've bought on this here internet, even this charger is like kind of breaking, which is so annoying because some of these products, they sell it to you and they don't sell it to you with the best, um, you know, stuff. So I bought this, um, wait a minute, let's, <laughs> I'm trying to climb over the barricade that I set up. Honey, I need you to stay over there. She is escaping. Nice and sturdy. Let me show you guys. Obviously I can't put y'all in there because I definitely have to use the phone for this. I think I have that thing though that I would be able to. But look. You see? Different lighting. Definitely need that. It's a nice shot. Because I really was thinking about buying a bigger, newer ring light. And here's the crazy thing I had a bigger, newer ring light. And I gave her two jewels and she gave it away. And now I wish I had it. And I gave it away for no reason because it was under the bed out of my way. It wasn't bothering me nothing. A girl just torment. Mom, yeah. Glad that I changed that over. And I could very well still, um, I need to put something on the bottom here because like I told you guys, this is the piece that's wearing. And I don't want it to wear because there's no, this wire is just attached to here. Maybe I just need to buy it. A good ring light head and be done at this one because it's on tiktok shops for 55 dollars and that one that i had bought at the time was very expensive this now i can still screw this on here and be able to make content on my phone if i wanted to 
but this tripod just isn't the most sturdy. You know what I mean? So we're gonna put it over the corner here in the living room because we're not using it now and don't need it right this second. But um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna need this for, but I'll come back. Maintenance day is full throttle. I've went ahead and washed the wig, put it back in, curled it, and I'm on like the last one piece of curl at the front area here. But so far we're basically done. I've brought you guys through the process already, so I didn't feel it was necessary to bring you guys through the whole process all over again. So. I spared y'all some time and right now as you can see the only pieces we have left is to um curl this front piece here i did record a bit of content for my tiktok so if you don't follow me on tiktok you can follow me there to see the actual behind the scenes i like the full bit of installing it if you don't want to go back and look for a video that I've done it before in because honestly I don't even know which video I could link that I've done it before and I've done it so many times because at this point I've been wearing my U parts for about I think from the tail end of 2021 two three four for about four years I've gotten into um U parts yeah. and I've been obsessed ever since and as you guys know I had the textured one in earlier and now I'm, you know, doing this straight one, which is great. When I'm done, I normally put some freezing spray on there. To kind of hold the curls. And when I do this, I've never had to go back in two, three weeks, nothing to um, recurl my hair. Unless I wanted to. The only thing I've had to go back in and do is like... Uh, fix up my leave out over it. Mia, you see how far you scooted down with this chair? <laughs> Honey, your sister said you're a booter scooter and she was right. <laughs> All right, everyone. So this is what she is looking like nicely curled my scalp is um oiled and i'm gonna run through the curls with this big teeth comb and show you guys these are my absolute favorite type of curls not too tight not too loose and as time progresses obviously they're gonna fall a little bit more but they're gonna stay like this the entire time i'm not gonna have to go in and do anything else to these curls i might have to go in and do a little bit of maintenance to my hair like straighten this bit sometimes i even go in and wash this piece of my hair and you know re-straighten it and stuff what you see actually you can even go through it with your fingers you know because of the holding spray that i put on there they are nice and held you know juiciest curls absolute juiciest curls And this is how we're looking. And I'm telling you, if nothing else, what I love most about this is how it um, feels like a sew-in, but I can actually take it off, maintain my hair underneath it on my scalp without having to worry. So, love that for me. That is it for... Oh, let me stay. At the end of maintenance day, this is how we look. Gotta go take a picture. If you guys ever forgot that I was recording, my battery's dying, my mom just came. I went in the room for her to like take a few pictures for me because I find that I never have good pictures because the lighting in the, in the entryway isn't working and I'm waiting for them to replace that. But for now, it's like not working. So it's like bad. Anyway. I'm going to go charge my camera, wrap my hair up, and make something for dinner really quickly. Because what I took out is quick. Let me say hi. 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 Okay, bye, y'all.